What's going on guys? So I am here in um, San Hollow State Park. I'm doing the ATV tour today. Um, it's an all day ATV tour around Southern Utah. I'm here at the state, San Hollow State Park, just outside of St. George. And uh, I'm just waiting for these people to show up. If not, I'm gonna get going and look for them. Hopefully they, I'm in the right spot, but I'm excited. I've never done anything like this before. I've been on ATVs plenty of times. Really kind of wanted to rent, a, rent one myself. Um, we're here, so it looks like they're on their way now, so keep you guys posted. I highly recommend this ATV tour company. I'll be sure to link them in the description below. All of their equipment was in top condition and their guides were friendly and professional. The tour led us out into the dunes and was a combination of a riding experience and very brief nature tours. If you've never ridden an ATV before, I highly recommend renting a side-by-side. -side. They're considerably more expensive but you won't hold up the group due to your inexperience. I've ridden ATV several times, but riding this model took about 10 minutes to get used to. After that, it was full speed ahead. If I could do it over again, I would choose the ATV every time. You really have to get in the flow of the thing. It's a more visceral experience and it makes the tour so much more enjoyable. It keeps you on your feet and you really get to experience the terrain that way. And then up in there, you see there's some even bigger bones up in there. Yeah. Dave was a very thoughtful and attentive tour guide. As a beginner's tour, this definitely hits it out of the park. They even provided a pretty decent lunch for us and a great place to enjoy it. I'm definitely no beginner, and if it has a motor, I can race it. That's something I'm passionate about. While we were on the tour, I watched a group of side-by-sides ripping it in the S-curves, and it turns out they were on a tour for the Mad Moose Tour Agency here in the area. I ended up meeting with the owner by the lake later that day, and he gave me one of the best rides of my life. When I come back out here, I'll definitely be riding with his company next time. After that, I headed over to the lake. I had no idea what to expect. It was my birthday, and the only thing that I had planned that day was the ATV tour. I pulled up on my beach, sat on my Jeep, had a few shots of tequila to relax, and chilled out. As I'm sitting there, this guy pulls up and asks me about my Jeep. We get to talking, and he ended up helping me have one of the best birthdays that I've had in recent years. Shout out to Jeff. We ended up making memories the entire weekend. It was unbelievable. I met two other guys out there, Hervey and Elijah. Hervey was actually from LA and his dad and brother recently moved to Utah. They're solid people and I'm glad I was able to meet them. They treated us like family and blessed us with some bomb Mexican food and rides on their jet ski. I cannot thank them enough. Here's some footage of the ride that the owner of the Mad Moose Tours took us on. It was insane. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna die a few times, but this was definitely a highlight. Check his company out if you're looking for thrills in the St. George area. You will not be disappointed.
These two days spent on the beach felt so good. It was almost like I had a birthday party planned for me without even knowing it. I had no idea who any of these people were days before, but we had the best time. These are the kinds of moments I live for. They were pushing this thing so hard, I wish I caught it when it flipped. I knew immediately that they were okay, but we definitely made sure to check on them. Believe it or not, I had never even ridden a jet ski until this day. But you know me, like I said, if it has a motor, I can race it. So after about five minutes of warming up, I was on that thing and hitting 60 and 70 miles an hour, no problem. And that pretty much wraps it up. It was an incredible weekend to say the least. And I saw it as a good sign for me starting a new chapter in my life. If you're in the St. George area in the summer months and the weather is good, you have to stop by this lake. If you have ATVs, jet skis, or other toys, bring them. If not, simply pull up with a good attitude, a couple of beers, introduce yourself, and I'm sure you'll be having the time of your life in no time.